Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I adore you and I glorify you for your goodness and for your mercies that endure it forever. Use me this morning to be a blessing to somebody. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. My name is Florence Maina, welcoming you to yet another time of celebrate your moment with joy because this is the day that God has made. The title of my message will be it's better to trust the Lord. <laughs> you can be surprised putting your hold, putting all your trust in man, and then he lets you down. You can be broken. You can be heartbroken. But when you trust the Lord and somebody else lets you down, you'll be able to stand firm. I like the word of God because it covers it all. I don't know where you could be in. I don't know whether you have ever trusted somebody. You have ever disclosed yourself to somebody. You have ever exposed yourself to somebody. And they let you down. They turn their back to you. Or you share all your secrets. And then they just, just put you there. And you feel like that's the end. It's like you want, you want the world to swallow. The act to swallow you so you disappear. My verses of reference will be from Psalms 20, verse 7 to 9. It says, Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but will remember the name of the Lord our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Save, Lord, may the King answer us when we call. Somebody can promise you something. I don't know whether you have ever done that. I've done. And then you have put all your trust and you are trusting and you are expecting the very last minute you hear due to an avoidable circumstance. God will never tell you due to an avoidable circumstance. Even when you are in a situation and you feel like everything is against you, he is still having you in his mind. Chariots are very strong. Some can trust in their riches like ch as ch chariots. Some can trust in their husbands as their chariots. But when they fail, you can be heartbroken. That's why it is better to put your trust in God. When you put your trust in God, even when you trust other people and they fail you, you are better off because you'll be, you'll be fallen, but you'll be, like, you'll be lifting you up in his, with his victorious right hand. I want to encourage you as a child, it's easy when you trust your parents. But do you know there are parents who let their children down and they forsake them? What would happen such a time? David was in such a situation and he said, when my father and my father, my mother has left me, the Lord will take me up. As a student, have you trusted you know, your knowledge and your capability and you think you have done so well in that paper and the next thing you see, it's surprising you that you have a nerve and you're expecting a nail. You can be heartbroken and give up. Don't give up because God has not given up on you. You can be a husband and you trust your wife and he lets, he lets you down. You can be a wife and you trust your husband and he lets you down. What do you do at such a time? Run to trust in the Lord because he'll never leave you nor forsake you. I like the last verse that says, Save, Lord, may the king answer us when we call. When you are at that moment when you are so down, call on the Lord and he'll answer you. He'll not leave you. He'll not forsake you. Learn to trust in the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us to trust you. Because in this world, there are many promises we can get and the last minute they fail. But once we trust you, we are good to God. Blessed be your holy name. I pray for my listeners, O oh God, that they may be encouraged to trust you. It doesn't matter who have let them down in the past. It doesn't matter how much they have failed. But you are with them and you never let them down. In Jesus' name, amen. You are there, you have never trusted the Lord. Maybe because you had a boyfriend, you had a girlfriend, you have a had a business, you have so much running, you have good, you have a good family and parents, yet there is something that is disturbing you. You have grown and you have not gotten married and they are wondering what is wrong with our son, what is wrong with our daughter. At such a particular time, you are going to be broken. But when you come to the Lord, he will lift you up. He will hold you with his glorious right hand. Are you there? Are you in that category? Do you want to tell the Lord to take over in your life and give you peace that surpasses all human comprehension? 
Do you want, if you are in that category, do you want to say this prayer after me, Lord Jesus? I come before you. I've been let down by many. I've cried or I've been let down. I've been broken hearted. I come to you. Take my life and let it be consecrated to you. Write my name in the book of life. Give me a desire to grow in you, O oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have prayed that prayer, I want to encourage you to look for a church nearby where you live that teaches the full gospel for your spiritual growth. When you go there, do not just be satisfied with, uh, with the Sunday service. Look or join a group of other believers so that you can encourage one another in this journey. Together we can make it. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember to trust the Lord. Remember also to subscribe to our channels if you have not done so. And also share this message with as many people as you can. Those I can't reach, please reach them. We need to encourage one another. Days are, are tough. These days are tough. We need a word of encouragement. May the Lord bless you.